good morning good afternoon good evening depending where you are getting me from welcome to our morning devotion in case you are new here just be most welcome my name is the lucky mom Deborah and chopper and we do our morning devotion every weekday from monday to friday morning hours between 5 and 6 a.m east african time um today our sharing is about do not fear men fear god he takes control over you that is our sharing and they keep us from the book of luke chapter 12 verse 4 to 6 uh we're going to sing him a song number 478 uh before that let's pray father in the name of jesus thank you for the gift of life as we're going to do our morning devotion we ask you to be with us help us and let it have a great impact unto our lives in Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. I want to welcome each and every one of us, wherever you are. And you also need to pray for Kenya as a country because uh, we are heading to the wrong direction. But uh, let's sing number 478. Sweet uh, War of prayer, sweet hour of prayer that calls me from a world of care and beats me out. My father's throne makes all my wants and wishes known. In seasons of distress and grief, my soul has often found relief and of escape the tempter snare by thy return sweet hour of prayer sweet hour of prayer sweet hour of prayer thy will Shall my petition bear to him most true and faithfulness engage the waiting so to bless and since he builds me seek his face believe his word and trust his grace I'll cast on him my every care and wait for the sweet hour of prayer. Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer, may I thy consolation share. <clears throat> Till from Mount P. God's love, see how I view my home and take my flight. In my immortal flesh shall rise to seize the everlasting prize and shout what passing through the air farewell. Farewell, sweet hour of prayer. Amen. I have a common cold, but I thank God I can sing. Even if uh, I sing one word, I feel okay because God loves me so much. And he also loves you. Uh, fear God, not men. He takes control over you. So God takes control over your life. Uh, our key verse from the book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 4, up to 6, uh, up to 7, right? yeah. Let me read from my uh, New King James Version, the Bible records. This is what Jesus is teaching about fearing God. So the Bible records, and I say to you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body and that have no more that they can do. But I will show you whom you should fear. Fear him who after he has killed has power to cast into hell. Yes, I say to you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for 
two copper coins and not one of them is forgotten before God. But the very hair of your the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Do not fear. Therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. Why could Jesus talk about hairs, hair on people's heads? What did Jesus want uh, people to understand about what he was uh, about the message he was sending across? Why could Jesus uh, talk more about God? That if you need to fear, you need to fear God because for Him, if He kills you, He, he has power so to cast you to hell. So he was just trying to say that uh, you are fearing men. You might fear men like these people. They want to kill me because of what I am doing. Maybe be, um, um, because of my faith. And you feel like if they, they, they kill you, that is the end of you. For them, they can just kill you and they run away and they leave you there. They don't have any power over your life. Even if when you are dead. But if God kills you, you will die and he has power to cast you into hell. He has the power to raise you. So he was just giving them this information to understand that God is more powerful. If there is a person you need to fear, you need to fear him. Because he is that person who can count even the numbers of your of hair in your head. But... Uh, this was uh, trying to strengthen the faith of people of God. Like, you know what? Uh, yes, you are in this world. Eh? Many things can happen. Many challenges can come, come on your way. But you remember, there's this one person who takes control over your life. You need to fear him because he has that power of making you a good person. He has that power of making you what you you want he has that power of controlling your life sometimes you can fear doing something because you feel like you are not safe oh god uh by the time god protects you maybe man could have killed you i just want to tell you this morning that uh, god takes control over your life you need to you need not to fear human beings because they don't have power over your life Sometimes we feel that our life is in the hands of men. Like, if I, if I don't do A, B, C, D, I might not eat. Maybe this person is not going to give me food. We are just being blinded by little things that we see. If I'm not going to accept what this person is saying, I'm going to lose my job. You are fearing men for nothing. You are just fearing because you feel like, I need to fear them. Those people who fear the one who live alone. Fear is a sign of respect. You just forget that you have somebody who controls your life. That you need to believe in him. You need to fear God. He is the one who is going to take control over your life for the rest of your life. The only need you need you need to do is just to have faith in him. Fear him. This is the man, this is the person you need to fear. Not men. We are living in fear. We, we, we are very careful not to lose our jobs. We are very careful not to uh, annoy other people because we depend on them. You feel like if this somebody, if this person with the draws from my life, then that is the end of me. We have turned people are to be our small gods. We are just worshipping idols in form of persons. You feel like if I don't do this, this person is going to disappoint me. If I don't do this, my kids will never be paid school fees. I mean, we are just depending on wrong people. We are forgetting that there is a final one. There is a final one who will be like, is it fees you want? I will give you. Now, these people, these small gods we are fearing are blocking us from reaching our destination. We can't, if we keep on fearing men because of more, maybe the benefits we get from them, it is going to delay us from knowing the right person to we need to fear. So you don't need to fear mad. Just believe that there is God in heaven who is takes control over my life. If I die, 
He has power to cast me into hell. He has power to, to raise me from death. If you have that uh, knowledge of God in you, nobody is going to manipulate you. Because in this world, we are, some people, we are just living because of being manipulated. We, our emotions have been manipulated by those people who are powerful. And you feel like now that they have your life in their hands, they are just holding your life in their hands. And you feel like these are the only people I need to fear. I have to fear my parents because I think uh, if I don't do A, B, C, D, they are not going to do what they promised. So I need to fear them. Go beyond fearing men and fear God because he has control over your life. God will not forget even the hairs in your head. If God will not forget the sparrows sold, what about a human being? A human being? It means you have more value. So even Jesus said, do not fear, therefore you have more value than many sparrows. So start loving yourself. Have that positive attitude. Have that positive energy in your mind knowing that I'm more valuable. When you feel like you want to fear someone, start comparing yourself with that person. Is this person more valuable than me? Have that positive uh, energy towards you. The positive vibes towards you like I am more valuable. If somebody messes up with you, feel like I'm more valuable and I know God loves me and I need to fear him alone because he takes control over my life. Trust me, you are not going to be, uh, to feel like low, you are, you are, you are, you are not going to be depressed if you know that your value, that somebody somewhere is valuing you, you are more valuable. You need to love yourself first. If you fear men, that means you don't love yourself. You see that somebody is more of more value than you. You need to understand that your God is child and you are more valuable. You only need to fear him because he's the one who takes control over your life. So I just want to thank you for tuning in, even though today we are late, but I want you to go with one thing, knowing that we need to fear God and not men, because he has control over our lives. So thank you so much for tuning in. Let's pray as we finish our morning devotion. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the sharing we have had this morning. We pray that you help us so that we can understand that you are the only one who needs to be feared. Because we are of more value since we are your children, Father. We pray for the sick in various homes and hospitals. We pray that you heal them, Father. We also pray for our brothers and sisters working in diaspora, Gulf countries. We pray that you protect them, guide them until they meet with their families once more. We also pray for our children wherever they are. We pray that you protect them, cover them with the blood of Jesus. Let them understand that we are the only God who needs to be washed, Father. In a special way, we remember widows, orphans, and widowers wherever they are. We pray that you provide for them their daily needs as you promise to be their father. Travelers, we pray that you send your traveling masses so that they may reach their destination to our father. We pray for the bereaved families. We pray that you comfort them as they are, they are in their time of sorrow, father. We pray uh, for Kenya as a country, father. You know what they are facing right now concerning the new bill. We pray that you protect the youths while are coming out in large numbers to protect to protest for their rights we pray that you protect them cover them with the blood of jesus open the leaders uh their minds give them the wisdom that you gave king solomon so that they can also be able to listen to the young generation father we also pray for the prisoners we pray that you give them their freedom once more uh and allow them to be reformed show them that there is light at the end of the tunnel father the activities of the day, we dedicate them unto your able hands, Father. And you who are struggling to make uh, ends meet, we also pray that you open uh, doors for them so that they can be able to better their future. Whatever we did pray, we pray that you send the Holy Spirit so that you can decide for us. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. So, before I leave, I just want to ask each and every one of us keep praying for Kenya. We are not go, uh, we are heading to the wrong direction. Uh, pray for the leaders so that God can touch them. They can be able to listen to what the young generation is saying. 
we don't want to lose our lives we need each other and everybody deserves better so thank you so much see you tomorrow